With me in the studio is Anna Patakova from Yakutsk in uh, Russia. I said your name right or not? Well, it's Petuhova, but... Ah, Petuhova. Well, Petuhova, yeah. K-H-U read like H. It's Russian okay. uh, letter. Like Petuhova. Sound. Yep, that's right. That's right. Okay. Hello. Hi. What is your job in Helen Doran? Well, I'm working in Helen Doran as a project manager for Far East Russia, which is a big area for us. And um, it's a nice job. I do the managing of the center and um, I'm translating for a master franchiser. The one is Russian lady and she cannot speak English, actually, and I'm helping her out. How many people live in the area that uh, you're responsible for? It's about 30 million people living there, which is a lot. But the city we're living in, it's less than um, half in a million. It's okay. about that. And how long uh, has the Learning Center been open for? We opened it last year, December. 2nd of December will be like our first anniversary. And I hope we will have, have a party or something. Mm -hmm. for what, this. what age groups are in the Learning Center? Um, last year we work with uh, children from 2 to 10, but this year the teachers went through seminars and we are able to teach children from 3 months till 13 years old. Okay, yeah. and uh, how many students uh, go through the learning center? Um, we had about 80 students. That's but very good for the first year. Yes, because it, English is very important in Russia right now and everybody understand that but this year we hope to have more much more than that how did you hear about Helen Dawn how did you get involved well I was looking for a job back in my hometown and um, I went to the interview and I had my CV all in English because before I was living in China and I was trying to find job there as well and I came, I didn't have Russian version of uh, the CV. So I said, like, if you want, I can translate it to you right now. It's not a problem. And um, uh, I found Matryona. She's an amazing lady. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be with Helen Doran. And in that moment, she was signing the contract with headquarters. And it was just meant to be, I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, you mentioned you were in China. You were born in Russia and brought up in Russia? Yeah, I was born and raised in Russia, but after school I decided to travel around and I went to China. I mean, your English is excellent. Where did your English come from? Um, thanks to my teacher in school, actually. She, she's amazing. And um, after I went to China, I had lots of friends from all over the world, mostly like... Europe and UK and States, so mm. my English is big thank to them. How is English taught in Russian schools? Is it, It's taught obviously very differently to uh, Helen Doan. Of course, of course. We don't have these mini groups. It's about 24, 25 people in a classroom learning English and we have one teacher and it's not about the games and songs. It's about just twice per week you have the lesson, 45 minutes, which is not enough. And lots of parents do understand that. That's why they go and try to find something else. And Helen Doran, it's amazing opportunity to have because children, they doesn't want to study more. But when they come to our center, they don't realize that it's a lessons or something. It's just games, songs, and like much of fun, lots of fun. What are, what are your plans for the future in uh, your area? Um, we're planning to open the second center in about two months right now. And of course, we want to expand our like centers everywhere. We're planning to go to Khabarovsk, Vladivostok and all these big cities on the Far East Russia and I hope it will work just fine. From where you are 
it is very cold in uh, Russia. <laughs> how do you, how do you, I mean, I saw Yakutsk and I thought, that's a very cold place. <laughs> I mean, what what kind of temperatures does it get down to? Oh, well, it's actually the coldest inhabited place in the world. Wow. Well, in the winter, it's average around 47. Sometimes it hit to minus 55. Minus 55. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it, it sounds impossible, but, well, you get used to that. You just wear lots of clothes on, and it's... And you used to, as a kid, just walk through the snow and ice to school? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, we have these uh, kind of days when it's too cold. Yeah. It's uh, for the prime school, it's about minus 45 and they can stay at home. But the thing is, you never stay at home. You just free of the lessons, but you go outside, play the snowballs, just have fun skiing and everything. It, it, it's good. It's good. How come? I mean, you have a suntan. <laughs> I got it in here. Like I came in advance a couple of days to mm. have a sand bath because the winter is coming and I need more sun and seaside to do. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Anna Petrova from Yakutsk in yeah. Far East Russia. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you to you.